Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Francisco here again from Yugatech.com and today we're gonna take a closer look at the Oppo A39 which is slightly the cheaper variant of the F1S. So are you ready? Let's go! The handset's design is typical of an Oppo phone which is akin to an iPhone. It's got a magnesium alloy for its chassis with a 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 protecting the 5.2 inch display and the entire front. Above it, we have the selfie camera along with the earpiece and the front sensors. Meanwhile, below, there are three unlit capacitive keys for UI navigation. The right hand side is where the power and lock button and the card tray are found, leaving the left side with only the physical button for controlling volume. The sides of the phone are plastic and no cold metal is present here, aside from the card tray. The top is voided of any ports or button and is completely empty which leaves the bottom end busy. The 3.5mm headphone jack, main microphone, micro USB port, and the loudspeaker are all cramped at the base of the phone. The back of the handset is plain and simple. There's the primary shooter with its LED flash at the upper left corner, while the shiny Oppo branding sits in the middle. Although with a magnesium alloy chassis, don't let the cuts deceive you of the material of the panel as they're just for aesthetic value and are polycarbonate all the way. But despite being a plastic brick, the A39 has a solid and impressive build. It sits well on hand, although a bit slippery. The phone's 5.2-inch display is an IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels that equate to 282 ppi. An HD resolution at this size is still sufficient to produce a crisp picture, although we've seen better ones in this range. On the positive side, the panel has a wide viewing angle and pleasing color reproduction. It's also relatively bright for outdoor legibility and has a 10-point touch input. As for the loudspeaker, the company gave it a mono and down-firing setup, which is pretty common but not an ideal one. Nevertheless, the speaker is audible and clear even in high volume. Just watch out for your fingers as the grill gets muffled easily. Oppo is known to mimic the iPhone, not just in design but also in user interface. Color OS version 3.0, Oppo's own take on the Android system, is almost similar to Apple's iOS. A number of Chinese OEMs do imitate iOS on top of Android, but Color OS doesn't even try to make it subtle. The icons, transitions, settings list, and color scheme are pretty familiar if you'd ask an iPhone user. But that could be, at least for us, one of Oppo's strongest suits. Despite the heavily skinned nature of Color OS, it is fast and fluid. The phone benefits from the iOS inspiration with a bit of Android touch. There's no app drawer but there are a few available widgets you can place on the pages. Of course, the skin has its quirks like the fact that it's based on an outdated Android 5.1 lollipop version. It would have been nice to have at least a marshmallow version and we're certain it won't get nugget anytime soon. The phone has a complete suite of Google apps and has no bloatware out of the box. The 32GB internal storage leaves you with 25GB of available space for your apps and personal files. The A39 is equipped with a 13MP autofocus rear shooter and a 5MP selfie camera. Additionally, Oppo's enthusiasm of iOS continues to the camera launcher. You also get a shutter button for quick snaps and swipe gestures to select the camera mode. For the rear camera, we noticed that most of our snaps are bright, even brighter than what it actually seemed. Since photos taken with phones are normally for social posting, this is okay. It's detailed but the post sharpening is a bit too much for our liking. Check out these samples. When it comes to selfies, Oppo is the chief. Despite just being a 5 megapixel shooter, the front facing camera captures bright and fresh looking self portraits thanks to a 1 4th inch sensor which has a higher light sensitivity. The beauty feature works well too even when there's a number of faces in the frame. Oppo is a selfie expert among budget Android devices. It's nice to see good looking selfies taken with a 5 megapixel camera, even better than other 8 megapixel shooters of other OEMs. As for the video, it can do 1080p at a steady 30fps. Quality is okay, but it looks like an enhanced 720p footage. There's also no electronic stabilization going, so keep those hands steady while recording. Powering the handset is an octa-core chipset from MediaTek, namely the good old MT6750 running at 1.5GHz. It 
it's got Mali T860 MP2 to handle graphics and an ample 3GB of RAM for memory. This performance setup is quite common for lower mid-range phones and from what we've experienced, it's fit for everyday use with some gaming on the side. Color OS doesn't hinder performance based on our day-to-day -day use and the easy-to-use built-in memory manager is quite handy for cleaning out tasks when it begins choking. Gaming is not a problem here as long as you're not pushing it. Intensive asphalt extreme games can be played in max settings while NBA should be kept around low or medium settings for smoother frame rates. Benchmark scores are typical for the chipset. Here are some numbers. Calling on the A39 is satisfactory. It's got a loud earpiece and useful secondary microphone for noise cancelling. Signal reception is also good. We get strong 4G signals where available, especially around Metro Manila. The phone accepts two nano SIM cards to provide dual network service at the same time. Of course, there's dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and a functioning GPS. Sealed inside the handset is a 2900 mAh battery that's enough to give you a whole day of power. We took the phone as our daily driver for a week and suffice to say, it was able to last us for 8 hours on the road. That's with mobile data on and consistent use of messaging and social apps. As for a more objective measure, we ran PCMark battery test and the handset lasted for 8 hours and 20 minutes. It's easy to understand why Oppo became popular among Filipino consumers. With their handsets, they were able to give the feature the masses want, like a straightforward experience, quality selfies, and good build. The striking resemblance with the iPhone is hard to dismiss, but in this age of brick smartphones, any design can be quite similar to the other. As for the price, the Oppo A39 is being sold at 10,990 pesos. And once again, that's it for today's review. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content like these. Once again, this has been Kevin Francisco and thanks for watching. See you guys around.